Hi guys and welcome to another Best Possible Squad Builder by myself, Bates and 87 Today we are doing, by, you can tell by the title and the thumbnail, we are doing the Best Possible Argentina team. The runners-up in the World Cup just gone and tomorrow we're going to be finishing it off with the World Cup winners, which is Germany. Now, a lot of comments for the past few weeks in the Best Possible Squad Builders. I'm going to clear that up before we actually build the team. A lot of people are saying, why do you actually do these? We can go and build them on foothead, but... There's a massive difference because not only do I build them on foothead, I then actually build them on the concept squads. I buy the cards and then I actually test them because some of the teams are good. But you can look at a team on foothead, you can think, yeah, that looks all right. And then it can be absolutely garbage in Ultimate Team. It's just one of the things. It's FIFA. Some of the players are absolutely crap. They may be high rated, but they could be terrible. And obviously that's what I do with these. They're not by opinion. That's something which has never happened. And I only do one position change unless it's a, a circumstance where obviously like, Wayne Rooney we've done earlier this year. So anyway, let's get on with the video. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment down below and I will answer them uh, to, throughout the day. Uh, so make sure you do get commenting. If we can try and smash over 5,000 likes, that'd be awesome. And if you do want any MSP, PSN codes or cheat game codes as well, then check out G2A.com. Their link is down below. So let's get on and build this Argentina team. And it's quite easy as well. In net, we have the Manchester City goalkeeper, which is Caballero. Uh, freshly transferred this season. Um... But he's not as good. He's really small. He Actually, he's really small. But he does pull off some amazing saves that he find out. In the centre-back position in the middle. We do have... Um, well, we do have Guerrero. Yeah, we did. I, ch I changed it around. I changed it around. We have Guerrero. The reason I put Guerrero in the middle is because he is slow as shit. 52 pace. And I've been using him in the Road to Glory. Um, legit Road to Glory I've been doing the past week. So you guys will know... Now, this guy is absolutely ridiculous. Anyway, in the centre-back position on the left-hand side, we did go with 80-rated um, Musaccio. There is also another 80-rated centre-back, which is uh, Otto Mendy from Valencia as well. But I do like Musaccio. I liked him last year. He got a team of season. He was actually a silver last year as well, which uh, it was a, it's a massive upgrade on him. And on the right-hand side, we do have Mascherano from Barcelona. The troll Messi, as everyone likes to see him when they come out of packs. Also, in the free... 3 4 1 2 formation as well. You guys think I love it. I absolutely hate playing with 3 at the back formation, but to get the best possibles because of the lack of low rated left backs and right backs in the game, a lot of these best possible squads are going to be in a 3 at the back formation. In the centre field position on the left hand side, we went with uh, informed Di Maria from Manchester United. Uh, expensive and is he worth the money? I'd probably say pay for his normal card. That's it, my opinion as well. In the centre midfield position on the right hand side, we do have Perez. Now, this card is is insane. Not going to lie to you, he is one of the best cards I've used on FIFA. 80 pace, 73 shooting, 78 passing, 82 dribbling and 80 physical. He is an absolute tank in the midfield. I actually rate him better than Di Maria and that's just me. Um, but expect to see me do a squad builder with him further down the line. In the right midfield position, we do have one of the lowest rated players in the in the team itself, which is Salvio, uh, 79 rated, 88 pace, 84 dribbling. That's the only really standout stats, and he does get that perfect link with Enzo, uh, with Enzo Perez as well, so you probably will see him in a hybrid squad builder. These two in a hybrid squad during the next couple of weeks. In the left midfield position, we do have Lavezzi from PSG down... down uh, Downgraded, yeah, he has been downgraded, uh, but also moved from a left wing to a left midfielder. All the players have not moved any positions so far anyway since coming out of packs. In the cam position, we do have none other than inform Lionel Messi. Um, 94 pace, 91 shooting, 97 dribbling. Best card on the game. I rate him better than Pele, uh, and he does come out of packs as a centre forward, so we moved him down to cam. You, the, actually, in the best possibles, the rule which came into place about the one position change was because of this um, Argentina squad builder we did do last year. I did play Messi at CDM maybe, and a lot of people did complain about that. So this is why we are doing it now. In the striker position on the left-hand side, we do have uh, inform Sergio Con Aguero. I can't say his name. Do, don't hear me. Do not hear me. Um, but he is a ridiculous card. 89 pace, 90 shooting, 90 dribbling. Um, he is rapid. His normal card is good as well. Um, a lot of people say he's the cheap Lionel Messi as well. So if you guys have used Sergio, let me know what you think in the comment section below. In the strike position to finish off this team, we have the legend Crespo as well. There is inform Tevez. There is inform Higuain as well. But neither of them do get up to the 87 mark, which these two strikers do. He has a ridiculous long shot and you will see that in the highlights as well. 
So guys, if you have enjoyed it, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed, and let's get into the highlights we did get with this team. So the cheap player which I'm going to be talking about today and the standout player in the team as well is Enzo Perez, the centre mid from Benfica. He is absolutely awesome. If you guys have used him, let me know your thoughts on him. But I have seen a lot of people on Twitter mention how good he is and I should definitely try him out. Train him out, I'm definitely going to be trying him out in another sweat team or something like that. The players obviously which are the highest rated ones, the likes of uh, Lionel Messi, uh, Crespo and also Inform Sergio Aguero. They are ridiculous players but unfortunately you've got to have the coins to purchase them. The likes of uh, Crespo actually is is the second cheapest out of the two. Um, uh, obviously, uh, Kun Aguero is worth a little bit less than that. But um, the tall and small striker combo, which I love on FIFA um, and love to take it into games, is good. Uh, he's got a decent long shot, decent link up, quite strong as well. And then you've got Sergio Aguero who can burst through defences and uh, just tap it past the goalkeeper, which was quite a lot of the goals I did score. With Lionel Messi, he is wasted in that cam position, but if we do look at what I did last year where I played him in the CDM or maybe CM position, uh, it's a lot better, <laughs> a lot better, and he's fun to use as well. I've done plenty of videos on him, uh, and you've seen loads of other YouTubers play with him as well. Maybe you've had been lucky enough to play with him yourself. The defence, not looking at paper, it looks crap. Not going to lie to you, I don't really like the look of the defence, but it played alright. Even the goalkeeper himself as well is quite a small goalkeeper, but he pulled off some critical saves when needed to uh, uh, we need to perform. But um, the defence, Gray, even though he's got 50 odd pace uh, in defence, he is he is like a brick wall. Uh, really good. Uh, and Mascherano next to him as well is pretty tidy. But the player, which is also cheap, a lot like uh, Enzo, is the non rare centre back which we used, which was uh, Musaccio, I think that's how you say his name. He was absolutely brilliant. Levetzi, not as good as last year, but is really good. Um, and I enjoyed using this Argentina team. Out of most of the best possibles, this one is definitely one of my standouts. I say that every week, actually. Actually, um, but this one is deadly up front, solid in midfield, and has a decent centre back, decent centre backs as well. If I was going to play with it again, I definitely wouldn't rock with it in a three at the back formation. But it is good. Um, if you guys have used any of these players, especially the likes of Enzo or even uh, Musaccio, let me know what you think of them, whether they do the job as the expensive players. And Hernan Crespo is absolutely uh, ridiculous. I, I love him compared to, to Aguero and Messi. Um, and definitely someone I'm going to keep in my team and play around with uh, when I'm not making videos and stuff because I need that type of player. I can have a bit of fun with, score some long shots and also do the damage inside the area. So guys, let me know some more best possibles you want to see in the future and I'll aim to do them. Drop a like rating, try and smash over 5,000 likes and if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe as well we are going to be back tomorrow with another best possible as well as another video so make sure you do check back your sub boxes then until next time guys see you all later have a very very nice day